Janice Russell, and every year my family goes to the beach for a week. We rent a house, which means we need to bring our own linens and other related items. But I've gotten it down to a science as to what I'm going to take because I know our routine. We spend the majority of the day from right after breakfast until right before dinner on the beach. So I'm in my bathing suit or my bathing suit cover up. So we go out to dinner every night, but it's very, very casual. And because I only have on clothes for a few hours, I only need to take four shirts in addition to the one that I'm wearing because I only wear them for a few hours so that I can wear them two different times. I also wear one pair of capris and take another pair. And then of course there's the lingerie and all that kind of stuff. But everything I have can fit into this one small suitcase. Well, and the beach bag. So here it is, the beach bag. I keep it packed always. We have a pair of shoes to go to and from the beach, water shoes, a towel, two bathing suits, bathing suit cover-up, and of course, sunscreen. Now, of course, I do have to take a chair and, you know, a couple other small items, but I need to leave room in my car because although this year I'm driving down by myself, I'm driving back with some family members, so I can't load up my car, first of all, and second of all, I hate dragging stuff up the stairs into the house. So I want to take as few items as possible. So the next time you go to the beach or on any other trip, consider the things that you'll be doing, how often you'll be doing them, what types of things, etc. so that you can decide to take as little as possible. Janice Russell hoping that you enjoy your next trip. You can find more tips at mindingyourmatters.com. You can also find two books on organizing your travel at organizeyourtravel.com. Have an organized day!